Hello and a very good evening to you. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the one day special, which is with Indigo Blue. And already very busy. And I'm going to say a very good evening to our lovely Kay. Good evening, my darling. Hi, everyone. Hello, darling. How Hello, are you? Lovely. I'm very well. Thank you. Looking gorgeous in your deep oh. Oh, sapphire blue, I'm going to call it. Oh, well, it's got to be blue, hasn't it? It's a good colour on you. It's a good colour on you. <laughs> now, tell me, you've just told me uh, this is your first Christmas yes, I edition it of is. the box yeah. set. And it's number <gasps> five already. Oh, my gosh. I can't gosh. believe that. Number five. Oh, wow. And we have an exclusive, don't we, with this uh, the magazine we set? Do. Because we there's do. an extra, isn't there, Kay? There is. It's the first time we've ever done um, a die on our <gasps> own. Yes. A die on its own. And so, I know. It's really exciting, isn't it? And here it is. Yeah. So but this it's... one I can use all year round, so I'm really pleased about that. Yes. But it's perfect for Christmas. It isn't certainly it? is. It is absolutely gorgeous. We've got so many beautiful samples to show you. Can I just say, because that is coming exclusively with the magazine set number five on a first come, first serve basis, because this has already been selling, 10% of the stock has already gone. So uh, this is exclusive to us here at the craft store. So on the first people that come in to get this basically and once it's gone I'll give you the heads up so don't miss out on that so Kay's going to take me through what else we're getting for a fabulous £20.98 uh, oh I'll mention we're getting these stamps we are getting the Merry Christmas stamps we are getting those lovely sentiments tell me about this then Kay okay so we've taken some elements from uh, stamps that we've got yeah. in, um, and we've actually put in some gorgeous little additions I love the little fir tree yeah. branch there Beautiful. and the flowers are really useful <gasps> we've got a double stamp tree there you can see the swirls and yes. then you can see the stars swirls, so that's like them. a double stamp there and we've got that cute little tree at the bottom which I love lots oh, of stars and tags that. and bottles and all sorts so there's a huge amount on this plate it's A4 in size so it's absolutely brilliant and we've also done you some matching stencils <gasps> as well beautiful so Kay. you get like four in one here I love that so you've got a tree you've got a nice snowflake to do backgrounds and stars and you've mm. also got that like big snowflake yeah gorgeous not only that no, but we've folks. got some dyes <laughs> as well so um we've got quick Merry Christmas obviously we've got to have a lovely um, Merry Christmas in there and then we've got some stars and snowflakes so Gorgeous. those are all included in the kit but not only that you've got loads of papers as well yes and you're going to show us that lovely magazine with yes. 114 possibilities of crafting projects I know, <gasps> I know so this is what you're going to get um, a really lovely box kit full of goodies and this is what I love about these box kits you get everything you need to get going with it mm. so and there's some inspiration on the back as well so you have the magazine itself you also have these beautiful stamps and you've just seen the stencil and all of those dies so they're a good size actually those mm. dies already yeah. so you get those but you also get the papers which i'll show you shortly so this is jam-packed with lots and lots of goodies introductions um and then we've got lots of guest designers as well as our mm. very own design team so this is carolyn lake in here i love her work she's got some crackle there we've got lots of different techniques we've got sue Ooh, jacob look at this look Isn't at that that is beautiful isn't that oh, beautiful? That's really, so nice, really Sue. lovely. So simple, but absolutely mm. stunning. So that's our Sue Jacob, and she's done um, half a dozen oh, yes. more projects there. Now we've got our Rachel Fisher, and she's done a whole range of packaging and wow. gift ideas to package all your beautiful that presents beautiful in. Reef. We've I got, you. Yeah. yeah, we've got Ingrid, who's one of our guest designers. Oh, and Leslie. Now mm. Leslie's been with us um, for. A, um, a visit um, to join our, our team for a few months and she's done some lovely work there uh, we've got our own Lorna as well oh look at this one I really like this one I'll just turn that round for you there you go and you can see this gorgeous sort of sheen that you get now that's our luscious so you know oh. our luscious really well don't you so you can actually see that really catching the light beautifully in fact, Doug, who um, was setting up with me in, in the studio, he didn't realise that one of the... Uh, as soon as he picked up one of the cards, he went, oh, the colour changes. Oh, oh that's yes, fantastic. Is this these, Kay? Is and this, it this little pile you give me here? Um, I think it's this one. Oh. Let me just show you this one. Oh. Sorry to just bring this in. So this is Sue Jacob. Oh. 
Aww. And there we go. Well, look at that pop. So it looks white. Is that just one stamp? It, it is one stamp, yeah. just oh, repeated. Wow. Genius, isn't it? Gorgeous. Absolute genius. Almost twenty percent of the stock gone already. So in five there we minutes. go. Oh. <gasps> really? I know. I'm sorry. Crikey! <laughs> I'm not sorry. Do you I'm know what? I, I knew this would be busy. <laughs> mm. I knew this would be busy. Thank you so much. So, um, oh. and I've done some projects as well. So I, I might that. actually get a chance to demo this tomorrow. That's gorgeous. So that's got our uh, flitter glue on. So I've done a few flitter glue ones, and then we come to our lovely papers. Now, um, the designers at Practical Publishing have done these, um, and uh, I just sort of suggested a few colours, and they've just gone out and done themselves proud because you get Gorgeous all of these face. lovely little bits that you can cut out yeah. as well but I really like the textures that you get mm. on the papers and of course the double sided you get two of each um, oh. and these really really do go together beautifully I love the pink and teal together and the green is such a lovely green I'm mm. not a green person but that is gorgeous so you get all of those as well loads and loads of um, of papers so then we've got even more we've got Kerry now oh. Kerry's done some beautiful um, cars which just emphasize all the words that you get um, and this is lovely how let me just turn that round to you and there you go so you've got the stencil being used here <gasps> which is really Lovely. nice you've got the dies being used you've got all the papers she's basically used everything in the kit here and it's just gorgeous and it's been spritzed with our lovely uh, vivids which of course are on the show so those are our, our vivid sprays so she's got some gorgeous um stuff in here and then you've got chances to actually win stuff as well Ooh. which is great sarah gray's done some stuff um we've got some write-ups a little bit we've got a guest designer here who's done vanessa hodgson who's done the most beautiful um this is the front cover and i'm just gonna give you a, a look at oh, that that's beautiful isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous i mean the colors so simple but so beautiful and you've got the big die, our new die, round the back of here. And it's, it's just lovely, isn't it? It's Stunning. really lovely. So she's, this is the cover, cover mount as well. And then I've done some more bits and pieces oh. here. So this is the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you. Oh, how lovely. Here, this wreath. People always love wreaths. Well, I do at Christmas anyway. Oh, I like that. So I'll show you that. the star background. That's lovely, um, Kay. Yeah. So that is just just a couple of the stamps. So I'm wow. going to do that for you. Great. And uh, a little star. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. I just yeah, I love wreaths, um, outside and inside. And um, that will be hanging on one of my doors on the inside <laughs> this Christmas, most definitely. And there's, do you know what? There's loads more. There's information about when we go to India. There's more designers in here. I've done some um, water. Um, watercolour techniques as well there's uh, stamping techniques there's um oh about our dirty weekends Ooh, and you that? can actually uh, win Still? win a dirty weekend place Fantastic. as well yes we've got some october dates in one, there okay. we've got october november yeah. oh, okay. and uh, we've now got dates for next year fabulous because they always book up fast and we've got some mail makes now i really really love this because oh. Carolyn Lakin has done some beautiful mail makes and they are absolutely gorgeous and again she's added some lovely vivid sprays over the top so beautiful. that they just capture the light shall I show you those as well so you can actually that's one of my favorite that stamps these. your swirly tree there Kay love that there we go so those are lovely aren't they you aren't can they see the sprays yeah. they look like stars don't they they do they're beautiful and as you know, it just goes on, doesn't it? This magazine, <laughs> where's the end to it? So it? Loads and loads of stuff, absolutely loads. It's jam packed. And um, as I say, um, you've got uh, information on the back as well. So absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I have to tell you that the stock you've got is the stock we've got. Absolutely. That's, you know, with these, 
with these it's very difficult to get any, well it's impossible to get any more really yeah so is there any wonder because at 20 pounds 98 i love the fact that you can just get going straight away and that's what's so brilliant about uh, the indigo blue magazine sets so don't forget at the moment you are getting this as the one day special that is in there as well that beautiful first time die on its own and almost a quarter of the stock has gone already 10 minutes in so many of you know that once it's gone it's gone i'm going to show you this one because that's in the in the actual uh, booklet that's the one Kay just mentioned from Catherine and then there you can see that beautiful new die in in used in there and that lovely card there as well that's Vanessa here it is in the gold how beautiful is that that's our Sue um, that tree by Les that Leslie Leslie's done that tree. isn't that gorgeous that's your that's your stencil in there and there it is with the glitter isn't that gorgeous that's our lovely Leslie again um, so many that's Carolyn Lakin's Gorgeous, gorgeous design there. Isn't that beautiful? So many fabulous samples here. And then another one of Leslie's. And look at this with the white embossing. Isn't that gorgeous? Just so, so pretty. Honestly, that's one of my favourite stamps, that one there. There's that little swirly tree. And I love this one. I'm dying to see. Tomorrow I'm going to have to watch this with uh, Kay because she's you, you, doing a sample there that Lorna's used that on that car, that lovely stamp. Aren't they beautiful? So many. The team, you are amazing. So thank you, everybody. These really are gorgeous samples. And you're going to see all the samples behind as well. The wreath that um, Kay just mentioned in the book is sitting behind us here on the counter. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll grab it. There we go. I saw that in the, that's in the book, isn't it? Kay? It is. Yes, yeah. It is. Isn't that beautiful? So, so many projects, 114. You've got all that A4 plate of stamps. You've got the beautiful stencil with the four components. You've got those extra dies and you've got your bonus die there. First come, first serve, though. So please, please don't miss out over a quarter of the stock gone once the stock of the die is gone if there is availability there for the, the the lovely magazine set yes you can potentially still get that but it is selling out fast so please 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 don't miss out 740794 20 pounds 98 and you are ready to go that's what's so brilliant uh, lots on the show and uh, we're going to go and see Kay in action. OK, so I am going to um, show you a few nice techniques and we're going to do that wreath um, as, as I showed you earlier. So um, you don't have to um, go out and buy a star. It's just I've had this in my stash for a while, wondering what to do with it. So you could actually bend um, a wire a coat hanger or it may be that you've got an MDF star or oh. a, a circle or any shape will do. The basis of this is, is going to be the same, whatever you do. OK, so um, I'm going to show you how I do my uh, master boards to begin with and a nice sort of watercolour technique. So the first thing I do is I start by wetting the back of my watercolour card and I'm doing it on a glass mat or a craft mat, whichever. And then I just wet the front. And that way, it stretches the fibres equally so it doesn't curl up and buckle. And then I'm going to take some of my translucent uh, paints. And I'm going to go with Pop Art Pink today, mm. um, which is lovely. Just take about the size of a grain of rice and then add water to it. And then give that a good mix. And this is the simplest, simplest, easiest um, background to do ever. Well, it's not a background, it's a master board. Um, and this is going to, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our flowers on this. And so you get lots of different colours coming through from your flowers. So you can see that it just mixes and merges on the wet watercolour card. As simple as that. Really, really easy. And then we're going to get our Sargasso Sea or Teal for Two. I'm going to go for today. Mm -hmm. So Teal for Two is from um, the set of paints called Late Summer Sun. Oh, no, it's not. Um, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> A Teal for Two is from um, my special selection, Kay's Choice. And... This teal for two, again, lots and lots of water on this. And just do exactly the same, just fill in all those gaps. Mm. And don't worry about it um, overlapping because it will create a lovely sort of violety purple colour. Mm. So just stab those on. Dead, dead easy. Don't even think about it. I should say as well, Kay, 30% of the stock has gone. Wow. Please don't miss out on that exclusive die. That's on a first-come-first-serve basis. And once that's gone, 
Uh, it could just be the, the fantastic magazine set, which is brilliant, but um, I don't know. The way it's going, but all just go. I'm hoping our uh, Kay has got plans for tomorrow. <laughs> I've always got yeah. backup plans. I've always got backup <laughs> plans, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't be going home for an early bath, that's for sure. <laughs> but it is then... flying, so don't miss out. <laughs> and then Ooh, this what is, um, is this, one? this is fresh cut grass. So this is a really oh, yeah, nice bright yellow green so this just adds a little bit of interest there yes, so what sure. you're going to do is you're just going to leave that to mix and merge if you wanted you could put a bit more water on but i think that's quite enough and right. then when it's dry this is what it looks Ooh. like i've actually put a little bit more water on this but the great thing is that when we stamp all the flowers on here you get just a little bit of that color a yeah. little bit of that color and it just makes them really really beautiful Love so that. that's that one just put that to one side to dry and we're going to do exactly the same technique but with the greens so this is going to be okay. for the um the fir tree fir branch sort of oh. stamp as well okay so what i'm going to do is seeing that i've got this green i'm going to use the fresh cut grass and that's going to go on here as well And just splodge. So first that Christmas on. edition, Kay. I mean, is it just? I realise this is number five, so there's only so much you can fit in. But it, was that just the way the timing went, darling, or, um, or was it a conscious decision? Well, um, well, we were asked by Patrick Publishing to do it. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd had um, all my designs made for um, a different month of the year, and right. they said, right, well, we'll do the um, we'll do the October edition october november edition but it's christmas so oh. could you do the christmas for us right, okay <laughs> i'm like yeah of, of oh, course we can. For us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um uh, but we're going back to just doing two next year okay. so um we've just got as i say ooh, just a tiny tiny amount of this paint mm. so yes we're just doing um two next year and so have you done how many this year have you done three? so we've done three, three this year right, which okay. we hadn't originally planned no. but um but yeah, oh, there <laughs> I we think go. it's a, a bit much um, doing all these. So I've got a little bit of that teal for two left Ooh, over. Yes, so I'm going to yeah. use that as well because it will actually go into this. And you want that sort of mottled effect mm. and just fill in all, all the gaps. There we go. And you just get a really lovely, I mean, that could be a beautiful background as it is, couldn't it? So that's going to be left to dry as well. And then when that's dry, that looks like this. Oh. And it's lovely, isn't it? So isn't what I've lovely? done is I've actually just given it a splatter okay. of um, gesso. Mm. That's all I've done with this. So that's one's going to be left to dry. And then we come back in with this. And then to give this a little bit of a splatter, let's get some clean water. A little bit of my white gesso, which is fantastic for for this okay and you can shop by brand on indigo blue for that white gesso and all it the other fantastic is. products like slap it on got some lovely uh vivas as well on there the ink spray so please feel free to shop ahead yeah so this is quite a favorite amongst mm. quite a number of people so you can see that gives you that sort of snowflaked yeah snowed on look yeah. as well which is really so lovely pretty. So if I bring this one back, I'll let that dry for a minute. And then what we want to do is we want to actually stamp this up. Okay. okay. So let's get the stamps out. You can see that mine are already well loved because I've just had so much fun with them. <laughs> How many stamps are we getting in the collection, Kay? Oh, we I count? haven't counted them. Oh. One, two, three. 25. 25, there 25, you go. 25, my goodness. <laughs> 25 stamps and that's just part of it for 20 pounds I know, that's fantastic, <gasps> isn't it? <laughs> now fiona could you possibly just um do something talk. um yes, yes talk while i absolutely. find my uh, acrylic block thank you <laughs> that's my job uh i've got lovely more samples here as well already over 30 percent of the stock has gone let's just give you a quick reminder what you're getting 114 fantastic crafting elements in that indigo block remember you've got all the papers in there and those two of each those beautiful teals and pinks and those elements that we can cut out you're getting 24 
five stamps. We've got the sentiments on there as well, the snowflakes, the lovely pine needles. I love these bottles because I think they could be apothecary bottles. They could be Halloween-esque. They could be very Christmassy jars, jams, cookies. My favourite, I know it's the simplest, but the swirly Christmas tree I just love. And I love the star Christmas tree because that could just be stars per se as well. So that's your stamps. Then you've also got that beautiful, beautiful um, stencil. That massive, it could be just a gorgeous design. It could be a massive snowflake. You actually have got the snowflake. Again, there's beautiful stars for any celebratory occasion. That stamp, that, that stencils out beautifully, doesn't it? And then you've got the Merry Christmas die set with those individual stars and three different snowflakes. Then you've also got the exclusive to the craft store, die and once it's gone it's gone um so first time they've done that individual die on its own it is in there as well as your exclusive die there 20 pounds 98 we have got about a four minute cues on the web on, on the phone so if you can get to the website that would be absolutely brilliant i just want to show you this card because there's those bottles now can you see how different they can be for any occasion but with the christmas isn't that beautiful i i i i I love that, just gorgeous. So sorry if um, you're waiting on the phone lines, we will get to you as quick as we can, but if you can get to the website, that would be absolutely brilliant because of course then you are avoiding the queues. Now there, look at that uh, brand new die. Isn't that beautiful? So many different ways in which we can, you know, use this wonderful collection. That's using all your papers in there as well, your stamps. That's what's so great about the magazine set. You know, if you've just got a few, um coloring um ink pads at home you can get you don't even need that necessary to get started you've got a die cutting machine a pair of scissors that's it that's all you need you can get started uh 20 pounds and 98 great value if you want to get one for a gift this is the first time indigo blue have done the christmas one we're only 20 minutes in a third of the stock has already gone 740794 i'm just going to mention some new rice papers while uh, Kay's getting set up now this is new today and what's brilliant is it comes with the indigo blue slap it on possibly one of my favorite products ever um this is your slap it on mat 100 mils and then you're getting three sheets look at these look at the color pop there premium rice paper look at that color pop it's it's just a field of loveliness isn't it aren't they gorgeous i love the way we've got the three different sizes there those colors are just idyllic so that's one and then look at those in the gold the christmasy feel the snowflakes isn't that beautiful and then look at that portrait isn't that gorgeous in those gold and vintage sepia tones but again tying in with those lovely flowers so you get all three of those premium rice paper and i can feel that quality of that rice paper plus you've got that amazing medium the slap it on for all your surfaces uh, please be quick if you want this for 11.99 um quarter of the stock has already gone 262738 I mentioned the Vivid Inks. Now we've got three different sets. Remember, keep the bottles because uh, Kay's developing something to recycle and refill, I should say. They're the same item number, but they're different colors. These now, you need to give a good shake um, because they've got all that. In fact, some people have uh, said, you know what, just um, store on its side um, because there's so much pigment in there. And if you've seen Kay, what she does is she sprays, she dunks, and then she, she, she gives it a little wipe so that the nozzle, because it's a different part, a pump action so when you're shaking it won't get clogged up but it's just to make sure that it always remains nice and clean and you can see that lovely color come through but oh yes have i mucked up Look, oh, yeah, put that there fiona um right let's look at the colors favorite things named after our favorite films three options so oh favorite things look at that look at that shimmer you get those gorgeous five there a drop of golden sun a slice of jam and bread english england's pastures green um sweet summer peaches and then whiskers on kittens yes you guessed the musical the next one is called more favorite things blue satin sashes uh, catch a mean beam oh, you can't help it can you fresh morning mist oh they're almost like two-tone aren't they the blue and the silver there purple and silver raindrops on roses and then my third option is Maid Marian. Now these are very vivid, very bright. Um, Will Scarlet. So these are just incredible. Little John. Um, you've got Loxley Yellow. I love this. Oh, Sheriff Nottingham. 
<laughs> and Maid Marion. So you choose whichever five you want. Five pounds saving, thirty-nine pounds ninety-five, four eight five three eight seven. If you want all of them, the whole set carry over the three five pounds savings. Uh, so that's fifteen pounds saving on the set, and that will be one hundred fourteen pounds eighty. And that will give a further five pounds savings. So that's twenty pounds saving all in all. Uh, Nine three two eight nine eight. Got that on three flexibuy payments for you as well of thirty eight pounds twenty eight. You'll have noticed the blank sheet there as well. They're coming next month with our end of this October month, I should say. We haven't started it yet, have we? Uh, tomorrow uh, with our lovely uh, Leone. So yeah, please don't miss out on those. When I've been on and they've been launched, they've sold out. Right, I'm going to see. She's. I think she's finished rummaging. Are we good to come back, darling? You are. Lovely. Absolutely. Right, so um, I, I do um, I do apologise because I sort of left my um, <laughs> my acrylic blocks over the other side of the studio. Oh. I couldn't get out oh, because you were, you were there, yes. and I had to go so crawling on the floor underneath the table. That? Oh my god! I don't. Think, next time, just walk past me. I don't think anybody really cares. It's fine, honestly. I don't want you. Don't want you doing a mischief, darling. It's all right. It just took me a while to get up. Bless you. Oh, bless you. So, as you can see, I'm actually stamping um, the fir tree branch with Shady Lane, which is a, a nice green colour. So when I cut these out, these are going to have this in the background, because I'm not going to really fussy cut them out. Right. Um, you know, not every tiny little thing. No, All no. I'm going to do is just go oh. round them. Can you see that? Yes, the shape. So, yes, but what I am going to do is I'm going to um, do some um, clear embossing mm. because that makes them give them a little bit of a gloss and a shine. So this is ultra fine embossing powder. Mm -hmm. OK, so this will um, stick to all those tiny little fine lines. You can that, see um, the great you coverage see. it's just done on the stick. Yeah, on your That's stand. right. Yeah. And if you just uh, all we do is we put it on while the ink is wet. Yeah. Tap off the excess and then we heat it, you can see. Oh, yeah. Just keep the heat in one area and then you just follow it round. And it just leaves you with this lovely, beautiful, glossy finish, which Cute. is really, really lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. So I think that, that makes it really, really nice. So I've, um, I've obviously cut out lots of these and as you can see, I've not been really, really accurate. I've just sort of gone round. Otherwise, I'd be there till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, this, is, this is a lovely way of actually stamping your flowers. So with this one, I think maybe we'll go for, let's go for what, blue, pink, red, what do you, what do you fancy? Ooh. Let's go for mm. a little, let's go for a bit of each, yeah. shall we? So, and I'll show you what they look like. Oh, that's nice. So that is Purple Delight. Uh -huh. This is Twilight, which is a deep, deep blue. Like so. Mm. Oh, that's nice too. Mm. Um, if you want to really show off how crisp it is, then we go for the Versafine. Oh, yeah. Oh. But what I want you to look at is when you've cut it out, look at all the different shades of colours that you're getting from this. Yeah. And Can again, we're going to just use our ultra fine clear embossing powder now this is a really really big tub it's like 60 mil right. so you can afford to chuck loads all over and then refill the and then back in again yeah, yeah it's absolutely. so fine isn't it it, it, it is, is really away. really fine it'll last you ages but um people actually use it to uh, color um make colored embossing powder with their luscious Ooh. Ooh. So that's really? another thing you, you can do with your luscious. luscious. Mm. Yeah. Wow, we were using your luscious powders the other day with the Zuri moles before we yes, put the resin in. Yes, that's right. I know, the Royal Wee, Catherine was. I just stood and watched. I know she's all. really <laughs> incredible, Over isn't she? Over a third she? of the stock has gone. Just to highlight that to everybody as well. Over a third has so gone. So then, what I've done is I've cut those out, sat in front of the telly, and you can see how different they all look. So depending on whereabouts they've caught the colour. And you'd never get that if you were just, you're just colouring them afterwards. It's, it's really sort of different how, how they all come out. And I really like that about these. So I'm just going to shape these on the back. If you haven't got a, a ball tool, don't worry. You can actually just sort of shape them with your fingers just by, this is watercolour card, so you know, it's going to take a nice bit of shaping. 
but that's all I'm going to do just a little tiny bit on all of these so I just do little circles on a soft mat if you haven't got a, one of these mats just use like a mouse mat or or something like that mm -hmm. there we go and then with the flowers I'll do some this way and I'll do some the other way now if you're doing it this way just be aware that you may um, scratch off some of the embossing powder so just be a little bit more aware of of that you don't want to you know be too harsh and you end up scratching it off because you only just want a little tiny bit of shape just mm. so they're not completely and utterly flat right. when we put them together and so they're really really simple aren't they mm. so let's bring in our star so as i say this could be this could be anything um it just so happens that i picked this up don't ask me where, I can't remember. I had it ages, it's been in the cupboard, you know what they're like. We, <laughs> <laughs> we just collect things, don't we think, oh, that's nice, that'll I'll use that handy. one Christmas, you know, yeah. five years later. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just using what's called uh, a florist wire. Okay. Um, it's really, really cheap to get hold of. And oh. um, I'm just, because I'm going on the inside, I need something for the everything to hang on to. So ah. I'm just going to sort of, work my way around if yours is just um round and you're going to go around the edge then you don't need to put wire on at all oh. but because this is a star and i'm going around the middle of the star i need something to anchor everything onto so i'm just going to go around a few times mm -hmm. and i say this this wire is very thin and bendy so it works beautifully so you can see that i've got like a, a bridge mm. in between and then I'm just going to snip that off now this is these are lovely to make for for your house at Christmas mm. and it's better if you make them now then you'd have to you're not rushing <laughs> through December but if no. you do craft fairs people pay a lot of money for a really beautiful wreath yeah. and especially if it's handmade and they don't so, mind because they get it out every year so it's not just for exactly. one year is it it's going to yeah. be years of enjoyment so they invest in that don't they i mean they even will spend like 30 40 pounds just on a green you know a fresh green one yeah. which oh, they, yeah, they don't yeah. actually bring out every year no once it's it's over it's you know goes in recycling doesn't yeah. it goes in the uh, compost heap but this they can bring out every year so you would do really well actually on i think baubles sell really well don't they yes um yeah and um and so this is like i don't know what you call this hairy stuff <laughs> is what i call it <laughs> I don't know. Is there, is there a name? And I think, like I think you probably would get this from a florist. Yeah. I cannot remember where I got this from. Again, it's sort of, you know, you go in your stash. I've got sort of a, a stash with um, like Christmas on. Yeah. <laughs> so any things that I find um, that look interesting, I will just sort of put in what there like my uh, little bells and, and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, oh, I just lovely. went in there and thought, oh, this looks good. <laughs> what, what can I do? Oh, I'll make a wreath. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So yes, it looks a bit untidy, but don't worry because, you know, it's all going to come together. I like things sticking out a little bit yeah. as well, so that it's not, not completely neat. There's a bit more on there than there is here, but again, I'm not worried about that. So next thing is, just going to get a pokey tool and this back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little little bunches of stuff of all the bits and pieces that I've found so um oh now John next door yeah uh, said do you want some stamens I asked him could I have a couple of stamens yeah. please and he gave me a whole bag oh bless him <laughs> bless him and He's I thought I'm never going to use all of those but in actual fact I have actually <laughs> used them on this a lot so I've just taken one of my flowers I've taken the green bit off and I've just popped it in there and I just think that looks lovely come on get in oh there we go there we go 
So it just, it's lovely, isn't it? Um, so pretty. These are out of my stash as well. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the sort of thing that you find at a florist, isn't it? Um, I found some, some balls, like polystyrene glittery balls there. And I'm just going to take one of the um, bits of wire that it's attached to and I'm just going to wrap it around the others just to secure it. And then I've also got some um, bits of wire that is covered in, in brown paper. And again, I, I got this, I think, at a show a few years ago. Didn't know what I was going to use it for. Quite liked it and put it in my stash. <laughs> <laughs> you must just have so much fun when you revisit your mysterious box. You just I forget know. about things that you popped in there. You do, you do. And when you have a tidy up, you go, oh, look what I found. And it's like, it's like getting a whole new delivery of gorgeous yes. stuff again. You forgot about it five okay. years ago. So, so you've got a nice little bunch there. Mm. Okay, so next job is to do maybe six of them. Aww. Okay, so I've got six little ones here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put them on. Yeah. And I'm going to keep them in sort of threes. So yeah. in order to do that, I'm just going to use a glue gun. I found okay. that the best way of, of doing Fantastic, this. Yeah. Um, and then, so just put some glue on here. Just mind your fingers because, you know, it is... Hot, hot, hot. Hot, 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 absolutely. And so that will go on there and just hold that in position. Okay, and then that's good. And don't worry about the stalks because we're going to be covering those up anyway. So if you want to go and do your bits and pieces, I'm tidying. while I put the yes. other, the other <laughs> s s uh, five on, I can do that. I will, I will. And I'll remind everybody that over 40% of the stock of the one day special has now gone. And once it's gone, it's gone. So the only place you're going to get this exclusive fantastic star and um, the gorgeous circle die there is with the one day special. So please don't miss out. It's the first time um, Indigo Blue have done their Christmas edition with the magazine set. And this is exclusive to us, the craft store. And it's yours as a bonus with the magazine box kit, which has 114 fantastic projects. Don't forget in there, you've got, as well as all the uh, fantastic designers like Ke Ke uh, Kerry, like Sue, um, like Leslie, you have got the papers in there as well. Gorgeous Kay and her designs as well. Then you've got 35 brilliant, 25, sorry, brilliant, beautiful stamps and sentiments there. And that is a whole A4 plate full of 25 stamps. So you're going to get started straight away, even if you just stamped a piece of paper. Uh, then we've got the stencil, which is beautiful. Let me just grab that card as well. That was stenciled uh, through. I'm just going to pop this in front if that's all right. Look at that, how that tree stencils. Can you see the stamp there as well from the set used in the background on the border there? Um, that's Leslie's. Isn't that beautiful? It's a gorgeous. And that's just one of the four on there. Then we've also got the stars, the three snowflakes and the Merry Christmas. I know. And then you're getting your bonus die set as well, all for a phenomenal 20 pounds and 98 pence let's remind us ourselves of our mag of our magazine um all the gorgeous projects i don't want the cards to drop out you see um we've got starry snowfall snowfall there the pink wreath how pretty is that isn't that beautiful so some of the what yeah there you go look at that stencil being used there and again so many brilliant ideas forgive me i've just got to put it down so i don't drop anything um, we've got these on the set. Oh, I can see that behind me, that lovely card there. It's like a little bit of pe paper piecing. Absolutely gorgeous. The silver stars. Um, we've got Rachel and there's that lovely wreath we were just talking about on the back of the set. Isn't that brilliant? Um, how to decorate your bottles and your bags. Yeah, not just cards as such per se. Um, the rule of three, Ingrid, that beautiful stuff. I love that stamp, um, just gorgeous. I'll tell you how to make them, how to do them, your tags, wreath stars, star plaques, um, so much in here. Let me show you some of the papers. Look at these. 
So you can fussy cut these individually. You've got lovely teals there, beautiful pinks. I love the colorway. Isn't that gorgeous? And these are double-sided and you're getting two of each. So if you're thinking, oh, I can't possibly use that, it's too gorgeous. Well, you've got two, you've got two sides there. All these gorgeous papers inside as well. So, you know, you can get started straight away. There's so much, there's 114 elements in here. I mean, that's just packed jam. Say it with words, Kerry there. I showed you that lovely card, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that pink, it's just beautiful. So that's your magazine and, and, and also uh, details about the um, Dirty Weekends, October and now November you can book for as well. And next year, you can even win a place on a, on, a, on a virtual Dirty Weekend as well. So there's a giveaway in there also. So yeah, please don't miss out. £20.98, over 40% of the stock has gone. Please, I'm just putting that card back, please check out your baskets. Uh, so that you don't miss out. It's on a first come first serve basis. So I just don't want you to miss out on that. Uh, 740794. Let's go back and see how Kay's doing with her lovely wreath. So, so far, I have put those bunches on oh, and I've started lovely. to put the leaves on. So mm. the leaves have just gone in between just to cover up all of the, um, the stems. And so those are going in here, like so, oh. Oh, over the top of that. That's so pretty. And it's great how these bits are just sticking out mm. quite nicely. And then you just need to start building it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting flowers randomly around. So again, I'm just using a little bit of um, hot glue. Mm -hmm. You know, I hardly ever use this, but by golly, when when you need it, it's brilliant, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I started off um, trying to stick it with other glue, and I was like, no, no, it needs to be hot glue. Yeah, definitely. So just more is more with with wreaths. I think you know, absolutely stuff it with <laughs> loads and loads of flowers and all sorts if you've got bits of acorns and Ooh, yeah other little things I, I sometimes too. recycle decorations as well mm -hmm. you know if they've got a bit bashed while they've been in the attic yeah um, I have been known to sort of pull them apart and redo them and reuse them um, and why not so and you can see by looking at the flowers, they're all slightly different, aren't they? Yes. Which is really nice. And also it's a really quick way of um, colouring your flowers because it would yeah. take me forever to, um, <laughs> to colour them individually. So we all like a little bit of a, a cheat's way out, don't we? So I'm just making sure that we've got plenty going on around here. Let's just carry on with this. Um, when you start going, hmm, now where do I put this one? <laughs> That's maybe when you're starting to get full up. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're nearly there. I might titivate a little bit more at some <laughs> point. There we go. I can stuff that one in there. Right, and then... You just need something to hang it up. Let's mm. get those out of the way and let's just cut this off, this extra big bit there. So again, you can use pretty ribbons or anything like that. I've just used this brown cord again. Mm -hmm. um, now, I found some beads that yeah. I'd actually wired together for another project because um, I'm always doing demonstrations and doing extra bits and pieces. Yes, for the stages. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> different stages. Oh, and this one is the dry one. And yeah. So what I've done is I've actually just put um, a lovely um, girl gave me some um, crystals that they'd, um, they'd bought oh. at a um, car boot that was from a, a chandelier. Oh. And they, wow. she was handing them out to everyone, which I thought was lovely, how oh. we all share stash, That's so lovely. which is really lovely. So I thought we need to give it a special sort of place, don't we? So I'm just going to wind that round. The good thing is that this is, you know, wire, so it's very, very easy to just manipulate. And I'm just going to 
squeeze that end in, then I don't catch it yeah. on anything, on your fingers or anything like that. So just squeeze that in. Okay. And then I'm just going to come back in with this, like so. I think it's probably about that big. I'm going to make it quite tall mm -hmm. because then, in fact, what I'll do is I'll show you how I did those um, those twirls. I just use my pokey tool, mm -hmm. okay, round about there, and I'll just wrap it round my pokey tool, and it gives you a nice sort of mm. twirl, and then just put it back through, and I'm just going to wrap it around like so, so then I can hang it up. And I've got a couple of bells there as well yeah. as that. That's so pretty. And I'll just sort of hold it up so you can see it on the other camera. How gorgeous is that? Right. Oh, beautiful. We That's go. just stunning, Kay. So That's it's really stunning. simple, isn't it? Just with um, just a couple of stamps and some colour. You know, when you think we started off with just yeah, those. And I'm sure you can find bits and bobs around your craft room, I'm sure. If not, you can get these sorts of things from, you know, um, big supermarkets. Yeah. You know, look at Wilkinson's and Home Bargains and yeah. another one. Give yeah. me another one. <laughs> <laughs> the Range. range um, and all those sorts of places. Yeah. You can buy this sort of thing quite cheaply as well if you haven't got it in your stash. Um, and just, you know, have, have fun. Have a play. Have a play. Doesn't take, doesn't take you long, you know, you can spend a nice rainy afternoon doing that, Gorgeous. can't you? I came together so quickly. Yes, yes and have fun delving okay. into your bits and bats box. Uh, right, we should remember as well, don't forget, uh, while stocks last, you are getting that fantastic, uh, beautiful bonus die. First time ever for the Christmas uh, media magazine box kit. And this is the bonus exclusive to the craft store. So that is extra to your media magazine box kit. Those two beautiful dies there. First time Indigo Blue have done them as an individual die. Uh, yeah, some gorgeous, gorgeous samples here behind the counter. Just beautiful. So much inspiration in the magazine as well. This is our lovely Suze. And look how different both those cars are. Job, haven't they, they just really lovely. big congrats to the team Vanessa as well same die set completely completely different because that's using the papers isn't it in the, in the set mm. just so utterly beautiful you've got Carolyn's there you've got Kerry's that's one of the ones in the project book as well um, just beautiful Leslie there one of my favorites I'm such a simple child but <laughs> I love just love that I stamp. actually love that I, I love it I love oh, the it. craft card yes yeah just gorgeous <laughs> Black card and the craft card. We don't use it enough. We and don't. there were those two stamps. Stunning. And your Merry Christmas, of course. Look at it here again. Beautiful. You can tell I'm obsessed with that tree. And you know, you? we've got so many samples that um, Doug has actually put them all round the back yes. as well. And we've also got a pile that we will swap round yes. uh, for the, the other shows as well. That's gorgeous. We've gorgeous. got them obviously all round the one day special as well. So have a look at those. They're just lovely. I've got to point out this here. Um, and oh, how the wrapping, <laughs> the wrapping paper yes, has been just brown done, paper. which is really lovely. I am sorry, I just sort of threw threw you under the bus there. By, oh, I don't care. This by is not having the me. camera in the right place. No, and no, it's I far do apologise. I'm sorry, but this is just so lovely. It's stunning. Um, I love actually stamping on brown paper and then wrapping your parcels in yeah. it. I think it looks so lovely. And to make some tags, I think you know, handmade tags are just gorgeous. To be honest, I would only do it for close family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if yeah. you've got kids under five, definitely not, because they're not going to appreciate no. it. But your mum would and your best friend would yeah. and all your crafty friends would. So I just think that is just really, really lovely, actually. I mean, she's even gone to colouring them in, which I, I think know. is a labour of love. Absolutely beautiful. So what can you show us in this uh, time remaining? Although I know we're together at eight again. Oh, right. OK, sorry. OK, um, so um, what can I show you? I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a little one that um, my friend gave me oh. a challenge. Well, not oh. a challenge exactly, curtain but rings. she gave me a curtain, a couple of curtain rings. Yes. And I'm going, that's I don't know how great, many times I've got rid of those. And I, I know, I know, I, know. I got told off. So, 
So I got told off. I don't was a craft to say, well, don't feel to keep them. I, was like, I know, no, I know. And I thought, actually, I could, I could put some embroidery over it and right. everything. And it's got a little sort of clip on it already. So she'll be really proud of me. Anne, Anne, are you watching? Anne? Anne? <laughs> and Godfrey, thank you very much. And look, I'm going to make something with them. Great. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've put some uh, black gesso on already. And then what I've done is um, I was going to sort of get the die cutting machine out, but seeing as we've got such little time, okay, I've die cut loads and loads of these little stars oh. and everything but how did i get to this yeah this level okay so let me just get another piece of card i'll go on the back of here um let me put a sheet underneath as well and if i can find the right one i think i actually used um didn't you show up enough here? I used blue satin sashes. Oh, from your beavers. And I also Birds. used um, fresh morning mist. Oh, so okay. that's your uh, raindrops and roses. That's one. right. More favourite right. things, yeah. Do you like? Do you like the new? I samples? do. Made, but yeah. Well, I just this. I think this is brilliant. The. Uh, the, the, the Robin Hood themed Sheriff of Nottingham has clearly got to be the next panto, isn't it? Um, Will Scarlet, <laughs> Little John, L Loxley Yellow, Sheriff of Nottingham, Maid Marian. And then at the end of October, lovely Ione is launching uh, Friar Tuck, Al Alan and Dale, Much Miller, Original Oak, and Robin Hood. Is he green by any chance? Mm, might be. <laughs> 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 my powers of deduction. I know, I know. So what I've done is, um, I think you just missed that. So I've just sprayed the uh, blue satin sashes on here. Oh. And as you can see, it doesn't literally go everywhere. I maybe should have moved some things out of the way. <laughs> um, and then I've gone over the top with the uh, fresh morning mist. And you Ooh. can see it is a really nice fine mist that you get from them. If you want it a bit more intense, you can go closer. If you want it further away, um, you get a finer mist. But obviously put it in a cardboard box or something and then housekeeping always dunk it into uh, water okay. but just just the nozzle bit and then just wipe it because it's such a fine nozzle that even just um just the mica in the pigment would um would block it up if you don't do that okay and dunk and dab and dunk and dab that's I right did. you remembered I did, well yeah. done. so then what i've done is i've dried that and i've put it through the uh, die cutting machine with all of those lovely little dies that you get in your kit okay so then i've actually just got all of these gorgeous little bits and pieces i've also got a little charm because I, 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 I am on a, a mission to use my stash and not just look at it and think, oh, how pretty that is, uh, like I normally do. Um, but I am definitely going to be using more stash um, because after a few years, after 15, 20 years, you actually do accumulate quite a lot of stash. <laughs> <laughs> The other growing box um, of goodies. And um, um, even though I continue to buy more, which is fine, um, I have decided that I do need to actually use it as well. <laughs> OK, so uh, give me a countdown as well. How many minutes do I have? Four. Four minutes. OK, four minutes. Well, what I might do then is I might just um, carry this on onto the next hour. Yes, eight o'clock. But basically, yeah. all I'm going to be doing is placing my stars oh. on and all of my lovely snowflakes around here like this oh and i think actually what i did do is i sprayed this as well so should we give that a spray as well yeah so this is this is great because nobody ever knows what to do with those rings and they might i know when you change your curtain pole and this is a great one you know sometimes they want to do a bit of crafting at the school and Everyone's, everybody wants to take home a little decoration. You, you could do that with the kids, couldn't you? You just... could, actually. This is a great one to do with the kids yes. at school. Um, and um, all you need is a bit of ribbon. And, and you don't have to necessarily... You know, you could go in with the die cuts already done exactly. for them. Exactly. And they you know, just stick but away. But that's just going to look lovely, isn't it? Oh, that's going to look beautiful. Yeah. And let that dry off. because, And that's why I did it in black, because if you put silver on black and, mm. and the blue as well, that's just going to look absolutely oh, gorgeous. Luscious. And I don't mind that it's actually gone on here as well. So I'm going to dry that off. But this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Ooh, 
Lovely. Because it's going to take me longer than a couple of minutes to the end of the show. So yeah. I will actually save it and we will we will do that next hour. Yeah, Okay, fantastic. you with me at eight? I am, honey, yeah. Excellent. So yeah. we'll do that together at eight. All good. Okay, and yes, so um, I hope you're proud of me. And Godfrey from Lincoln, you. uh, <laughs> using your curtain, and she'll she'll come with a bag of twenty four now. I know. Well, <laughs> that's no, just, no. That's just such a good yeah. idea. Okay. Yeah, it's lovely, and I think those on the tree will look fantastic. Just, and just you could fantastic. actually put the kids' names across there rather than just yes. Merry Christmas, couldn't so many you? Possibilities. I think those are going to look really, really pretty. I'm so glad she gave you the curtain ring because honestly, yes. I've, I've just and I, I've sort of kept some and thought, well, I don't really want to get rid of them because you might, but I don't know what to do with them. But also what. What you can do is one of the things I was going to do is actually put um, some acetate on the front and on the back oh. and then make it into a shaker Shake as well uh, and then decorate it so that that's you can't see the edge of the acetate so that's another idea for it but I, I just think they're they're brilliant, brilliant. actually I think that's so fantastic I will idea. I will do that on the next show and I'll show you how I did all the sparkly oh, stuff lovely. as well gorgeous yeah. yeah and in fact if you've bought any of the media magazine box kits from indigo blue before share your pictures with us we'd love to see some of the projects perhaps that you've done with editions one two three and four and email us into uh, studio at thecraftstore.com or let us know on Facebook we would love to see your images as well because the magazine box kits with indigo blue are very very popular so please don't miss out this this is the fifth edition, first Christmas edition ever. Still really busy, so please check out your baskets. Once the stock's gone, it's gone. No more exclusive dye, and I wouldn't want you to miss out on that beautiful star and circular star die set as well and it's not just Christmas Eve. you look at that I mean I, I know it's got the joy on there but that could be do any celebratory occasion couldn't it the star we can use for numerous nu numerous occasions as well so that is your extra set there exclusive to the craft store you're getting 25 beautiful stamps you're getting 114 individual projects and elements in in the whole box set there you've got the papers you've got the stencil you've got the star dies that uh, Kay was just referring to with the uh, the curtain hoop so yeah so many fantastic possibilities 20 pounds and 98 pence that's all it is which I it's think a is great an absolute price. bargain I mean I, I honestly think that just you know it's a ridiculous price when you get a magazine but you also get all those stamps yes. you get the dye the stencils all the papers. papers I think that's a ridiculously good price you couldn't get the stamps 25 no, stamps for 20 pounds 98 no you couldn't absolutely not Definitely not. <laughs> it's, um, it's and the... we couldn't manufacture them for that, no, you know. No. And it's only because uh, Practical Publishing have this huge oh. order. Yeah that they can make it's it work. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. So take advantage is what we're saying. <laughs> Thank you, Kay. We'll see uh, Kay back again at eight o'clock. Please check out your baskets. Wouldn't want you to miss out. Plenty more still to see this evening. Let's have a catch up and see what our Catherine's up to across the studio.